the breakfast club, bitches. Donkey of the day. With Charlemagne the guy. I don't know why y'all keep letting him get y'all like this. It's not me, Duval. It's Florida. Okay, Donkey of the day for Thursday, September 1st, goes to 85-year-old Helmuth Kolb of Port Orange, Florida. What does your Uncle Charla always say about the great state of Florida? The craziest people in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida, and today's donkey is no exception. In fact, today's donkey is the rule. All right, I'm telling you right now, people in Florida live life differently than the rest of us. The things that are clearly criminal to criminal to uh, you know us are clearly normal in Florida. All right, let's take Helmoff Call of Florida, for example. <clears throat> He's a registered sex offender, okay, on probation for trying to buy a child for $200,000 back in 2018. I said he's a registered sex offender on probation for trying to buy a child for $200,000 back in 2018. When I hear stories like that, I think to myself, at some point, this must have worked for him. You don't just attempt to buy a child. Okay, you hear all these conspiracy theories about sex trafficking and why all these kids be going missing, and you hear about Pizzagate and the black market for body parts and whatever else, and then you hear stories like this, and you think to yourself, he's done this before. If he hasn't done this before, he's known somebody who's done it. Like, I think he's made this purchase before. At some point in life, at some point in his 85 years of existence, this worked for him. And you know how I know this is true? Because he did it again. Let's go to NBC2 for the report, please. A registered sex offender on probation for trying to buy a child for $200,000 in 2018 is now back behind bars, accused of trying to buy another child. 85-year-old Helmuth Kolb of Port Orange was arrested Thursday after the incident at a local Winn-Dixie store. Westchester's Claire Metz spoke with the mother of the child who was most recently approached. He just came up and started making comments about how pretty she was and how good her dancing was and how he could never have children and he wanted children. Lauren Benning says she thought 85-year-old Helmuth Kolb, this is a picture of him, was just a lonely old man when he first eyed her and her playful 8-year-old daughter inside this Port Orange Winn-Dixie last week. Approached me in the parking lot, actually chased me down in the parking lot and said, hey, I want to make a deal with you. I'd, I'd like to buy her for $100,000. I was in complete shock. What? <sighs> he approached this woman and said, let me buy your child for 100 grand. The same man who was serving five years probation, 85 years old man, for grabbing another child in a local Walmart in 2018, kissing the child's wrist and offering to buy her for 200K. Did the same exact thing four years later, okay? His money must be different now because he only offered 100,000 this time, but he did it again this time at a Winn-Dixie. There's a lot of things folks buy from Winn-Dixie, but kids is not one of them. Okay, Florida, what the hell is happening in the Sunshine State? <laughs> right? This is not normal behavior for the rest of us, but clearly it is for some people in Florida. Now, the young child's mother, Lauren Bing, Benning, uh, you heard her just now, but she also said his intent is to buy children. That's not okay. Ma'am, that's an understatement. All right, when police questioned him about offering to buy uh, Benning's daughter, Cole laughed and then said, we all like kids. Hey, man, I would tell you if you like kids that much adopt, but clearly you aren't fit to be around any minors, okay? He had to register as a sex offender in 2018, and the terms of his probation include no contact with minor children other than family, and he must be accompanied in malls and big stores. Accompanied by who is my question, okay? Who's accompanying is very important because the way he's moving like this is normal means that he might be accompanied by someone with the same mentality as him. Now, what I would like to know, is selling your kids legal or illegal? Can someone who knows the law let me know? Can you legally no. sell your kids? No. I don't know. I'm you asking. You no, know, you just can't be like, hey, Mikey here, I'll sell you for 200 that. No, you can't sell your kids. <sighs> because, listen, because for him to walk up to people and just randomly make these offers, like I said, lets me know that at some point this had to have worked for him. No. Now, Lauren Benning, the child's mother, said she doesn't know what's wrong with the suspect. Uh, but says there's no question something is. Whew. Lauren, do you have anything else obvious you want to tell us? Oh, yes, she does. She says he needs to be locked up and not allowed to be around our children. Round of applause to Lauren, okay, for saying what we all obviously know, all right? Her child is shaking up, rightfully so, and doesn't want to go grocery shopping with her mom anymore, and can you blame her? Uh, Helmoff Kaup, you, sir, are 85, and you probably are going to spend the rest of your days in jail, but I'm telling you, someone should talk to him and figure out what is he connected to because I need to know the times this has worked. I guarantee it's missing kids in the area. You probably can find a lot of them. You know, give these families closure by pressuring him because it's got to be a community of humans just like him that are out here purchasing kids, which is why I want to know if it's illegal or legal to sell your children.
because clearly somewhere in Florida and probably all around the world, this is happening. Mm -mm. Please let Remy Ma give Helm off call of Port Orange, Florida, the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother are you dumb? Like, like, you can't just sweep this one uh, under the rug. Like, you should no. talk to this guy and see, you know, if this has worked for him before. If he's tried this before. It, it clear, I mean, he did. We know he's tried it before. He got locked up for right, it right. three Where years he ago. Lived. But who else is he connected to? That's right. Is there a community of people that are doing this? Like, this isn't something you just wake up in the morning and say, hey, I'm going to do. And then you do it again? Nah. And you're on probation for it? Nah. Come on, man. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.